Everybody listen to me. Hi, I'm Nikki Dome. Thanks so much for visiting our website today. Although it's great to be able to check things out online in the comfort of your own home, there are a lot of things out there that you don't really know until you get out in the field. I've been a resident in Chula Vista for over 30 years. I'd love to show you some of the stuff that I think is important in Chula Vista life. So why don't you go with me and take a tour? Come on. All right, most people know that there's been a lot of building in Chula Vista. A lot of buildings of homes, and it's become a great suburban community. But what they didn't know is that recently, we've had a lot of big stores come to our little community. We have our first Target, east of the 805. Uh, this, this little marketplace that they put in here came in about three years ago. We have our Target, Office Depot for all those businesses that are now in our area. And we are very, very pleased to get this enormous Lowe's. It has everything you need for all the new developments throughout the Chula Vista area. It's nice because we used to always have to drive for everything in Chula Vista. It was great to have our communities, we had our parks, we could do everything in our own home. But then when we needed to get stuff done and buy things, we really needed to go out of Chula Vista to be able to do that. Now we've got our own stuff. And one of the misconceptions that you hear about all the time is that we don't have many restaurants. We do now. Come take a look. that have been around Chula Vista for a while, you knew that if you wanted to go out to dinner on a Friday or Saturday night, you were talking about a two hour wait at the only Chili's on East Stage Street. Now, not anymore. We have an Islands, burgers and drinks. It's great, we were all very excited when that finally came down to us here. Johnny Carino's, which is great Italian food. Again, nice to sit down with your family and not those long waits that we were used to. And then for a little bit of that south of the border flavor, we have a Miguel. That's the owners of the Brigantine and the other restaurants uh, that we usually had to drive farther north for. So we are definitely getting some more local flavor down here in Chula Vista. 